Well, my friends, if there was any doubt that mainstream journalism is on its last leg, Politico just released an article saying J.D. Vance's beard conveyed aggression and an opposition to feminist ideals. To start off, let's put things in perspective. We're dealing with the repercussions and the devastation of Hurricane Helene. We have wars around the world. We're 30 days out from the election, and this is what the mainstream media wants to focus on. They start off by saying, yes, Vance's beard matters. Vance is the first White House wannabe to wear facial hair in 80 years. Yes, before we proceed with this clip, mm, the media is insane. The view Sonette Austin said, Melania Trump hit her husband and want to take him out. She used this language less than a month after the second assassin attempt against Trump. A lot of people are calling this out on social media extremely concerning. I don't know why these people are still on air. If it was someone saying this, mm, you could have seen the backlash on social media. The mainstream media would take this up. Take a look at this. Melinda Trump came out with a video today, made it clear her stance partaking to abortions People should decide, that is according to her, which Trump responded, which I'm going to show you what the mainstream media wants to focus on. They start off by saying, yes, Vance's beard matters. Vance is the first White House wannabe to wear facial hair in 80 years. Research indicates, research, who are they researching this with? Research indicates that voters see beards as more masculine. That can be positive to some, but to others, especially women, it can be negative, conveying aggression and opposition to feminist ideals. Now, I'm a pretty smart person. I'm not in Mensa, but I do have a brain between my ears. And the fact of the matter is, I don't know what this man having facial hair has to do with feminist ideals. For some women, it's ideal for a man to have facial hair. At this point, I'm convinced the folks in DC, New York, LA, the people at these mainstream media, liberal media companies need to do two things. One, go touch grass. Two, go get laid. At this point, you mainstream media liberal journalists need to travel across the country and talk to actual women. I was raised by a strong woman. I have strong women in my life. And let me just tell you, a strong independent woman is not threatened by a man with facial hair. They really have the audacity to say that women feel that facial hair is aggressive and it shows opposition to feminist ideals. Okay, but it's good for a one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> I get messages from thousands of women every single week. There is a time for feminist ideals, kumbaya, come together, let's save the world, and then there's a time to get your world rocked. Saying that a man's beard and facial hair conveys opposition to feminist ideals, that sentence in and of itself is some buffoonery, tomfoolery, and malarkey. And as we continue our descent further into absurdity, the same publication had the audacity to say, Walls's wide eyes showed his passion. So let me get this straight. J.D. Vance's beard is aggressive, but Tim Wall's eyes convey his passion and his emotion and how much he cares for the country. Yes, this reminded me of something recently James O'Keefe recently did, exposing MNBC. One producer was caught on camera today he made it clear on that video that these people just want to push Kamala to win. These people know the truth. They are the mouthpiece of the Democrat Party. That is what I saw. When you look at the mainstream media doing this, oh, Tim Watts' eyes represent this, this, and trying to go off on Jenny Evans on things that doesn't really matter, you can see clearly what they really have to do. Yesterday, I saw videos where they say, oh, mm, Jenna Evans was man's planning, you know, things like that, or insane. Now, going back into our video, Trump responded recently, what is your reaction to Melania championing abortion right? Trump, we spoke about it, and I said, you have to write what you believe. I'm not going to tell you what to do. That was Trump's response to this insane backlash Libra media are putting out about her. Individual freedom is a fundamental principle that I safeguard. Without a doubt, there is no room for compromise when it comes to this essential right that all women possess from birth. Individual freedom. What does my body, my choice really mean? <laughs> So, 
She wrote this book probably a year ago. Yeah. So this isn't coming out of what's going on right now and all this crazy stuff they've been saying. So how do you think these clashing takes on abortion rights are going to play out with his base, with, with the people he thinks are listening to him? Well, yes? Oh, one Joy. thing I was... Oh. <laughs> Wait, you raised your hand. Yes, did. Did. That was okay. so polite of you. So um, this is, uh, I actually 100% agree with Melania's take, but I do think this could hit some single-issue voters. So in 2016, Trump got 81% of the white evangelical vote and 52% of the Catholic vote in 2016. These are a lot of people that show up at the polls turning their face at everything else and saying this is the one issue that matters. Trump himself has flip-flopped over the map, and he also conflicts with his own vice presidential candidate, so they can't seem to get on the same page. I actually think Trump probably feels like Melania does, but he made a lot of promises, because he used to be pro-choice, and he used to be more of a Democrat. I think he... Yes, I believe you've seen the view. They are extremely excited for what she said. For the very first time, they are now siding with her. Mm, I never knew there would be a day like this. I let Trump respond. You should take up your decision. You should decide what you want. I should not force you to do what I think, which is important. Trump said the state should decide. Libras melting down that, oh, Melania is saying this, oh, a lot of people will go away. Maybe to the advantage is insane. Some said, oh, maybe she should pick up flat now to campaign with Kamala. Mm, I don't know how wise. This decision is, I want to know your thought, particularly to what she did here on the comment section. All right. Well, okay. go right ahead, Missy. I think she... <laughs> I think she hates him. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so we can all That's agree on that. That's a given. <laughs> I also think that she wants to take him out. She does not want to be the first lady anymore. They agree with you. She doesn't want to be the first lady. She destroyed the Rose Garden. Who hates Christmas? Melania Trump hates Christmas. She doesn't want to decorate for Christmas. She doesn't she don't want care. Anything she doesn't to do with care him. about that. Yeah. She doesn't want to sleep in the same room with him. She can't tolerate him. Allegedly. And she does. Yeah, how do you know all this? Yeah, I, was like, I don't you, know. You don't know all this. Allegedly. allegedly. She, she, she That's why I say allegedly. So, I told Sonny. Yeah. Allegedly. And so. This is disgusting. Look at what is happening to Trump. Look at the phrases that are coming out from the view. Though they are struggling to say allegedly, mm, it is insane. Something should be done about this. When I look at this video to a certain point, I didn't want to react on it, but it is important. I just show you what is going on. They should not be doing this. There are things you can say on air. Put this in your mind. You must not have this. <laughs> you got Cheney coming out today. Maybe Melania comes out tomorrow with Kamala Harris. It can happen. Okay. It's, now it's you're just talking crazy. It's 2024. <laughs> Anything is possible. This is bizarre. I don't think you've ever seen in the history of American politics a former first lady or the spouse of a candidate come out with a book and a video saying, I don't agree with my husband's party on a key issue. It's never happened before. This time... Hey, y'all. So I'm...